Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're looking at the most cost effective way to store your recovery tracks on your Jeep or your four wheel drive. And there's so many different ways to be able to store your recovery tracks anywhere on your Jeep. It doesn't have to be on the roof racks, it doesn't have to be on the spare tire, it doesn't have to be inside the Jeep. It can be wherever you want. But the best part of it is it can be done for under $10. So we've got our little helper here who will be helping us um, go through what we've bought um, and how we set it up. Now for me, um, I've got Rhino racks on top of the Jeep. Um, I've already got the side awning up there. So it just made sense to um, have it up there. I can jump out of the Jeep if I ever get stuck or if you guys ever get stuck. You always need them in a convenient spot that's easy to get to and easy to release them so you guys can get stuck, unstuck, stuck, unstuck a little bit faster and get back out on the tracks um, and doing what you enjoy. So for me having it on the driver's side which is the right hand side because I live in Australia uh, for you guys it might be the left hand side because you're in America or somewhere else in the world. But for me it would be on the right hand side of the roof racks so I can just jump straight out of the Jeep, untie the recovery tracks um, and get myself unstuck. A lot of people do run them on the spare tires and you can get spare tire recovery track mounts but I'm running a dirty gear bag um, and I was just thinking I could probably run run there, run run there, like underneath the bag um, and just uh, ratchet strap them down. But it's really cheap and simple guys, I'll go through my methods um, and you guys can kind of pick what best, suit, what best suits you and what suits your four wheel drive and what you kind of want. Now you can buy like proper steel mounts that go like that and all this kind of jazz but I've seen those and those can be upwards of like 150, 200 bucks. Nah, we're not about that life, come on guys. So 10 bucks from Super Cheap Auto will get you a good set um, of little they're not ratchet straps, they're like little tie down straps. They've got a little clip there. So what we've got to do is thread it through there. Um, and that won't come loose. You pull it tight, um, wrap the rest of the rope, slip, rope, rope up, the strap up, um, and it won't come loose. They're awesome, they're cheap. So they a $4, $4.20 each. So $8.40 for two, and that's pretty much all you need. Then on the actual roof racks itself, all we're running is uh, four sets of um, eye bolts, uh, two on each side, so the recovery tracks will actually sit between these, uh, one at the front and a little bit narrow, narrower at the front, uh, and then I've got a nut and a washer, washer actually in the channel of the roof rack, just tighten that down nice and tight, and that's all you need. So let's chuck those recovery tracks up there, I'll show you guys how I tighten them down and how tight they actually are. They're not going anywhere. Um, and Yeah, they're not going anywhere. That's exactly what he said, I think. Yeah, that that. Um, and those eye bolts from Bunnings are a dollar, dollar ten for a four pack. So dollar ten for a four pack and I already had the nuts and washer sitting here, so that's it. So maybe call it nine dollars fifty. We'll round it up, we'll call it ten dollars. So under ten dollars, ten dollars, uh, to be able to store your recovery tracks in a perfect location for any sort of scenario in. So let's chuck those recovery tracks up. I'll show you guys how I tie them down um, and how tight they can get. And you guys can kind of make up your mind if that's something that you guys want to go for. But as always, I'll leave a link to these products and the recovery tracks I use. I use Exit Tracks, um, and I did a video on those in the past if you guys want to check those out as well. But I'll leave a link in the description to the tie downs that I've got from Super Cheap Auto and also the eye bolt as well, which are also from Bunnings, so you can buy them from anywhere you want. You don't necessarily have to buy them from Bunnings, but Super Cheap Auto always does have the best prices. Just throwing stuff out of the Jeep. Anyway, let's get up onto the top of the Jeep and uh, tie these tracks down. So all I do is place the recovery tracks down and I just loop it back so it's actually got something to pull tight down. And that with minimal pressure will go nowhere. Pretty simple guys. And then with the remaining um, strap, thread, what do you guys want to call it? So that's just place, unfortunately I was going to do some bolts to go through these whole holes here then into the actual roof racks itself but they don't line up. So this is the next, next best thing and it's really cheap as well so under 10 bucks you can't go wrong 
And with the remaining thread, thread? Don't know if that's the right word. Remaining part of the strap, all you do is roll it up. So it's better than having too much than not enough. That way if you want to run four sets of tracks, two sets of tracks, another uh, swag on top, another tent or whatever, you can. That all you have to do is wrap it up like that, pull it tight, and tuck into the actual recovery track itself, and you're good to go. That way that's not going to flip around, that's nice and tight, that's got, still got a little bit of give in it, so it's not going to snap. Um, and I think these are rated to 2,500 kilograms of pressure as well, which is that's going, not going to come anywhere close to that. So really simple, um, you can just do the same with the back one as well. Really easy and simple, that's pretty much done. So under 10 bucks, you can easily and safely store your recovery tracks on your roof racks. Now if you don't have roof racks and you're going to do a spare tire or a soft top, uh, now if you don't have either one of those or you want to do inside your Jeep, uh, exit tracks actually make a recovery, a recovery track bag. So it's like a dirty gear bag. Uh, but it's made to fit your recovery tracks in so you can put it inside your Jeep or your four-wheel drive uh, just to keep the mess and dirt and stuff inside that bag and actually not getting anything else inside your Jeep duty as well. Which is actually really cool. Um, I thought I might buy one of those as well uh, to keep them in on the roof uh, to keep them protected from the sun because they're probably not fading and might crack over time. I'm not sure but I'm really happy with the re recovery tracks I have bought from Extra Track. They're awesome um, and under 10 bucks. 10 bucks, give, give or take. 10 bucks for a set of